on page 19, a woman with blood type B has a child with blood type O. So woman and child. So the woman has to have an I, B in her genotype. The child has to have little I, little I. And so the mother then has to have little I as her allele because otherwise the child could not have blood type O. What is the genotype of the child? Done. Uh, what genotypes, which genotypes could the father not have? Well, the father has to give the child a little I. So that means he could not have any genotypes that do not contain a little i. So he could not have IA, IB, IA, IA, or IB, IB. Let's keep going. Number three. And if you haven't done it yet, just mute me for a moment and try it. If a man with blood type A and a woman with blood type B have a child with blood type O, what are the possible blood types for their subsequent children? So the reason they told us that they had the child with blood type O is to tell you that both of them must carry the allele for blood type O. So the man then has a blood type of IAI and the woman is IBI. So to find the possible blood types of their subsequent children, we need to put that into a Punnett square. So we have I, A, I on one side, I, B, I on the other side. So the children could have a B blood, B blood, A blood, or O. So we were asked for the possible blood types. So blood types, that's a phenotype. Types of their offspring are AB, B, 